have tension between the one mile and Gulliver faction of the real niggas. Um, yeah. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. And my people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in all right. Hold on, I need to talk a little politics. Since nobody now want to talk about it, me will talk about it. And me the fire phone. Andrew Wallace, come here now one second. Yes, somebody wake him up. Somebody wake him up. One now, no. Yes, wake him up and call him. Tell him so I want to talk to him right now. So, yeah, and the Williams of my family. People them still want to know which part them walk from a rich in a politics, you know. The one way a mayor, how him become mayor. The one way a member of parliament, how him become member of parliament. I remember you have a Mexico Williams with the upper East Rural Center and drop this up. Well, hold the seat for your wife. All of my family, me just want to know. Mr. Oles, yes. Let me put the Mr. Pioneer because I don't want to call you Andrew like me and your size and you send the FBI or the CIA or the police or the whole army come for come lock me up because remember when them call you Andrew, you send people for go lock them up, you know. So, like how I put the Mr. Pioneer, you see, I ask the question, you and them my family. Because I see recipe for disaster carry at the party, you know, well, and since you know, see it, somebody call him, make him look upon this right now. I'm not sure about nothing, I'm sure it's a car she so we'll get free herself in a trouble. And the little brother where they see right over there so you know the video is not him. Yes, I know him that time because the little one where I member of parliament for the Alman Town section of the people they want to get rid of him. They vex and they vote him in, but people make I tell you something. I'll know we don't see no social distance and the may birthday party, you know. Andrew, what you gonna do about this? Yeah, and that me say me call you by your first name now. Andrew Oldness, you me attack. What you gonna do about this? Lead by example and them now say no farmer example. But tell them go pressure get up people when they ready for run and go pressure them and lock off this and lock off that and lock them up. Make sure you make an example out of them lunatic then. No? Me I tell you the truth. Anyways, let me tell the people them who are going in the news because a whole heap of thing are going and me never get forgiven no? all of the updates. Detective assigned to the Area 3 Narcotic Body Division on Tuesday charged a man and a woman in breaches the dangerous drugs act following a joint military operation in a great house in Beacons District in St. Elizabeth. They are 54 year old Lester Green, a farmer of Newell District in the parish and 33 year old Tamara Robbins, a businesswoman of Deacon District also in the parish, we tell you no. Woman always involved in every single thing. I know for them to get slapped with. The police said that Green had been on the run for over two years after he allegedly committed a number of breaches of the act. He was reportedly found hiding in a room and was arrested on a warrant. Also during the operation, which was carried out at about 5 a.m., the team searched a room that was occupied by Robbins. According to the police, 24 parcels containing ganja was found in their possession. The drug weighed approximately 20 pounds, a little bit of ounce. Remember, them office smell a little bit of ounce and I push a little piece of them packet. Another estimated street value of 80,000, the police reported. Robbins was charged with possession of ganja and dealing ganja. She shall to appear before the St. Elizabeth Parish Court on Monday, July 26, while Green is to appear before the court on Wednesday, July 14. Remember, me tell you, no, me, I got keep no posted, but this one, so don't need to worry. The St. Catherine man who was accused of shooting his friend to death in an unprovoked incident is scheduled to return to the gun court on November 25th. The accused Omar can be reportedly kill his friend after assisting him with transportation from Marcos Garvey Drive where his motorcycle had developed mechanical problems. The Portmore St. Catherine resident who is known as Up Up is charged with the June 24, 2019 murder of 27-year-old custom broker Julian Cheng who was killed on Arbor Street in downtown Kingston. According to the police report, Cheng was reported to the traveling on Marcos Garvey Drive in the wee hours. Yes, the wee hours, earlier and late hours of the night, when his motorbike broke down. Now, we're not going to see why me not all like people. It is further reported that a contact was made with Campbell, who organized assistance for Cheng to be picked up. He also traveled to Marcos Garvey Drive. The boy and him friend, them, they have a plan. Cheng was reportedly picked up in his minivan by another of his friends and transported to Arbor Street. However, after exiting the vehicle, he was reportedly shot and killed by Campbell who had been traveling in another vehicle. Cheng Bond was reportedly found by the police at about 2.30 a.m. with what appeared to be gunshot wound to the head. What may mean by what appeared to be gunshot?
that one. I go and chat on and say, no, no, and I stop the friend. The police later theorized that Cheng was killed as a result of an internal gang feud. So, you see, Cheng a troublemaker too. Me always tell you, you know, this fire not there too far from the smoke. People know exactly what I go on. Last Thursday, when the matter was mentioned in the court, a new date was scheduled and Campbell bail was extended. Attorney at that law. Kemar Robbins is representing Campbell. Me tell you about some of them thief in the here. All the thing them know for the assist criminal and choke criminal ways and means how to get out of prison. But guess what? Their day is coming. A whole heap of curfew are dropping. Out. One thing with this prime minister, I'm saying I open the country for entertainment go on. But guess what I do? In just a drop curfew and a tricky people. Them. So wait for your have a curfew. Yes, curfew are going around this so long this for lockdown. Also, could I go to King and the night store because the world is going King and the night start, you know. So, me need to talk to a soap down the Phillips. Come in, come chat to people, my people, they know exactly what I go to King and the nights. We have tension between the one mile and Gulliver faction of the real niggas um, gang. And um, the tension basically has been extremely high since the last incident where one Marvin Smith O.C. Rasta was shot and killed by two men in the community. He was affiliated with the One Mile faction. Now Chris, maybe you don't know because you probably are clear that people are dead left, right and center, you probably don't know. We are right when criminal take out criminal, you know. So all you have to do is allow them to angle them bangle and they can go and go pick them up. Yeah man, remember say, we put gas in IG phone to pick them up. Yes, that are the only way we want to know where taxpayers' money when they go to pick them up. No other else way, nobody carry them behind bars. So make them continue fighting down there for turf, because no gold are down there. And so we anticipate at any time that we will have confrontation between the disputing parties. So we continue to have the stick pattern between the, the, the gangs in the space. Our CSS team will be doing some work in the area. Um, other Teams will also be doing work in the area, uh, beta victimology tool inside the area. And um, basically, we hope that we'll achieve some success um, going through because we're doing some targeted raids in the area, looking for some persons of interest. I want to favor the people in McLaren I beg you, likewise myself. Don't carry none of these criminals when you find them. Slap them where it makes no sense. Sense, me I tell you the truth. Right now the people, I'm glad for the local curfew thing. They wish it was a little bit longer. Me I'm gonna make a year with them have the like when the people them appreciate when them see something I go on. Well, you, you feel more secure because you know so everybody go about them business. Nobody not really will stop to so say them all go on. So you're more confident. It could have gone longer, but I guess them stretch. Remember, your taxpayers that are paying them, you know. So me and you know, say them can turn a road, you know. We know say them can turn a road, but no, no, no. I don't know why the government feel like them need to carry them inside. But then again, better you carry them and allow the people in my community to angle them, bangle themselves. Right now, me go down to Manchester. Like I say, right now, Manchester people just are praying. Me know a summertime and they all just come out at them time of the year come pray say yo when the trucker come down spare tree he turn over so they can't get goods they not really busy about the people them and the occupants of the truck me be honest so don't know but guess what three person in hospital nursing in Jaffa I delivered truck carrying rice overturned on pear tree main road in Manchester yesterday morning yo want to see all people who don't eat rice and lift up all two three four bag of rice and tell them say Fill it up them like a dirty chimney and can't go dash it in at the toilet, then can't do that. I saw the nasty down there. It was reported that the truck was traveling along the road with a driver and caught a mechanical difficulty and lost control of the vehicle which overturned the incident up at about 8 o'clock. Injured persons were rushed to the Manneville region of the hospital. Their conditions are unknown. The incident is said to have occurred in the vicinity of the accident prone spot along the roadway. See, a bag of people supposed to see the video, them are the rice looters, them. Yes, the rice thief, them, the man, them thief rice, people who not eat rice and them. So Another thing now, people, I'm going to save some life now. Yes, I'm going to try to save some life. And more of the people, yeah, listen to me, listen to me, kill me. It's summertime, and the place is hot. And I know everybody is going to go river. All who can't swim, all who think they can't can swim, I go to river. Make sure when you go river, at least one person dead there with conscious and can swim and not drinking. Just in case anything happens, that person can save a life. Me I beg you, nobody go give you no three pints in the water. Can't say me not beg you, you know. If you don't have to go, you don't go. And if you don't go, don't make your water pass on your knee. Yes, man, just stay in a little knee high water and just take a little cup and throw it over here and them little things they just enjoy. On the self, 
in the shallow. Nobody take show off and go to the deep. Because when you fall in a difficult out there, dog them a suffer. Nobody now come out there come save you. Word to the wise is sufficient. Tell a friend, tell another friend, come come check us out. 